Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today is the tutorial for beginners on AWR software tool. So uh, this is how the screen looks like. Before you start any project, make sure to save your project from the uh, file toolbar. Okay, so once you save your project, coming to the um, main screen. So this AWR software consists of three simulators. One is system level simulator, which is known as VSS in this, and then comes the circuit schematics, where you can go for circuits, uh, circuit based simulations, and then comes this EM level uh, structures, where you can draw antennas and etc. So in this system level uh, simulations, you can uh, design transmitter and receiver systems. So to open that, you have to click right click on that, and then go to new system diagram. So once you create this, if you want to find the elements of it, go to elements and then here you can see all the system blocks. Uh, you can place amplifiers, mixers, filters, etc. etc. And coming to the circuit uh, schematics, again to open that you have to go to right click and then new schematic, create and then again this window will open to access to the elements of it then go to elements and then you will find all the elements of it so uh, before that if you also want to see some elements which you are not able to see here or which you are finding some difficulty to find in this you just have to press ctrl l which is a shortcut key to open the circuit elements or any other elements so you can find here all the elements so then coming to project again so in this em structure there are again two types of em structures one is axiom and then is analyst so axiom is basically it works on method of movements and analyst it works on 3d structures so coming to this axiom part so here you can get like 2d structure simulations so once you create this Okay, you can draw a rectangle or square. You can get all the uh, shapes and everything here. So coming back to this circuit schematics, before you start to design any circuits or anything, make sure to set your frequencies and uh, look for the uh, units. So go to options, then project options, uh, start frequencies, stop frequency and then step size so then apply for it then go to this global units make sure that frequency is in gigahertz or megahertz if you are comfortable with megahertz and there is this length type so keep it as mm mills as per your knowledge then click ok so there is also one more tool inbuilt in this AWR software is go to tools and transmission line. So you will get this calculator which is AWR <coughs> transmission line calc. Okay. Once this transmission line calculator is open, you can give your dielectric values here on which you are going to design. Say as per now, I am giving RTD at 5880 whose substrate uh, constant, dielectric constant is 2.2 and then loss tangent you have to input and the conducting material is copper. So my impedance will be 50. As of now, I am taking 5 gigahertz as my frequency of operation. Then I have to give my height of the substrate and thickness of the conductor. So when you press this one, you will get the length and width of a transmission line. So in order to place the elements here as I have told you press ctrl L. So you will get to know all the elements here. So I am going to place a transmission line over here. So this length and width value I will just copy from here. And then paste it here. Again take this. Again, copy width value. Again, paste it here. Okay, to uh, connect it with the ports, here is a port. So you just have to connect it directly, or else there is also one more shortcut key that is Control P. So you, you just connect it here. So to connect from one point to other point, you can just point over there and then click here. So this is my complete thing and uh, we have to also 
uh, define the substrate which we are going to simulate on this so the substrate you can place it as control c control v just instead of this m lin you write as m sub and that component will come and place here so write the epsilon r value of it and then height of the substrate and then thickness is 0 0.00 0 0.035 and then loss tangent value is this one okay that's it so our circuit is ready so if you want to plot a graph of this uh, go to graph and then this new graph uh, so here you can see there are various types of plots here rectangular smith chart polar antenna plot etc so once you create it yeah see the plot is now in, in smith chart kind of right so you can uh, you can duplicate it or change this type to rectangular as well so then go to add new measurement here you have to name the file name and then click this one and then click ok then simulate right click here or simulate for measurement else you also have this option here which is analyze so you can do it by that option as well so see we have got some response here if you want uh, this dip at 5 gigahertz then you go back to the circuit diagram and then go to this tune tool option tune both the things once it comes as in yellow uh, blue color go to this your graph and then click on the tune and then you just have to do in this way so you will get to know which parameter is behaving in which way everything then to add marker right click and then add marker comes here so minus 52 is your value so in this way you can simple or uh, you can design transmission line and go for this exercise so that you will get to know this awr uh, design environment so what else to define is output equations if you have any tough output equations which are not available in the awr software you can just click on this right click on this output equations go to new output equations then create and then here draw add equation then you can add any equation here so in this way you can add all the equations so that's it for the introduction part if you want to know more on this AWR software tool, please uh, do let me know in the comment section. And in my next video, I will be designing on filters or uh, Wilkinson power divider or coupler. Thank you.